Why fertilize the soil of a cacao plantation and how to do it? Cacao plants, although they are in an agroforestry system friendly to the environment, where they are combined with other plants and trees, they need nutrients from the soil to develop and better produce. Now we must then give them the necessary nutrients through soil fertilization. In this case, when we talk about fertilization, we refer to the application of either chemical fertilizers or organic fertilizers. And we must consider that each productive year, we must maintain a balance between the inputs and outputs of nutrients from the soil, what is known as nutrient balance. Nutrient inputs are through chemical fertilizers or organic manures, rainfall, and nitrogen fixation by leguminous trees. On the other hand, the outputs are given through the harvest of cacao, banana, other fruits, firewood, or wood that are obtained in the cacao plantation. Also, nutrients are lost by filtration and by the soil that drags the water. For example, in a cacao plantation that is not fertilized, when more than 500 kilograms of dried cacao and more than 100 bunches of bananas or plantains per hectare per year are produced, the outputs are generally greater than the inputs, even though we have leguminous trees and abundant rains. Therefore, it will always be necessary to fertilize. We can know the fertility conditions of the cacao plantation by analyzing the soil through sampling. For the sampling, we must make a tour of the plot, defining at least 10 points per hectare. Using a soil auger or a shovel, we take the subsamples that represent the general conditions of the cacao farm. All the subsamples are placed in a container and mixed to obtain a 1 kilogram composite sample, which is sent to the laboratory for analysis. With the laboratory report, we will be able to know the level of the nutrients according to the existing reference ranges. Thus, for example, if the adequate level of potassium is between 0.2 and 1.2 and the result of the analysis is less than this range, this indicates that the rest must be supplied with fertilization. Another important aspect to check is acidity since the absorption of nutrients by the roots can be affected. The more acidic the soil, the less nutrient availability there will be. For example, a pH below 5.5 indicates that there are acidity problems. To correct the acidity, the soil must be limed. The doses of lime can vary according to the value obtained. It is generally at least 20 sacks of lime per hectare. This, if the pH is below 5.5 and the calcium and magnesium contents are also low. Once the acidity problems have been corrected, we must consider the nutrient requirements of the plants at each stage of cacao plantation development. A general recommendation that we can follow is to apply 5 grams of fertilizer per plant per month in the nursery stage from a common formulated fertilizer. In growing plantations, we can apply 200 grams per plant per year. And in production plantations, between 300 and 500 grams per plant per year. It is ideal to use fertilizers that have nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, such as 151515 or 18515. If organic fertilizers are to be used, then at least 2 kilograms should be applied per plant per year. It is ideal to use fertilizers such as compost, bokashi, or chicken manure which have the highest possible content of nitrogen and potassium. With these fertilizations and good pruning, the aim is to produce high cacao yields, close to or greater than 1,000 kilograms of cacao per hectare per year. Finally, we must consider the way and time to apply fertilizers to ensure their greatest benefits. Fertilizers, manure or lime can be applied around the trunk of each tree or also between the cacao rows. The most recommended way is around the trunk since it will be closer to the roots of the plant. Regarding when to apply the annual dose of fertilizer, it must respond to the state, size and development of the plant's fruit. 
In this sense, it is best to distribute the dose of fertilizer or manure in several applications during the year. Four applications a year is an adequate alternative to cover the needs of the crop in its main stages. In the example that we see, the first application is made at the end of the peak production period at the end of the year between the months of January and February. The second, about three months later, when the big harvest flowers occur. The third fertilization at the end of the production peak between July and August, and finally, at the time of small flowering and at the second production peak between October and November. In case we can only make two applications a year, the ideal will be one in January-February and the other in July and August. Following these recommendations, we will correctly fertilize the soil of our cacao plantations. The results will be successful. Chocolate for All project, financed by the Inter-American Development Bank and executed by Heifer International Project and Cotier in their field actions.